Welcome to PMQ Live Pizza Marketing. And I'm Steve Green, PMQ publisher. Um, uh, publisher, I'm the, the founder and the host of this new show where we're trying to find the leading edge of marketing. And uh, we are live because um, we want your questions. That's why we're doing this live, why you're just not seeing a tape. Now, you will see a tape of this later on. But right now, the point is, is that we want to answer your questions because together we're a lot smarter. And if uh, if you don't help me and ask some questions and tap into Ryan's brain, we're probably I'm probably not going to ask the question that you want to know. So if you'll uh, listen to this, this is big news. This is really something big in our industry that I'm very proud of to be able to bring to wide attention. I just discovered this uh, a couple of weeks ago. I just discovered about Ryan a couple of weeks ago, uh, talking to a high level person in the upper echelons of the of the uh, online ordering world. And so I'm very pleased to have him here. My first love has always been helping pizza operators sell more pizza, especially through marketing and technology, because marketing and technology make pizza more manageable and more profitable. And so uh, interestingly, Ryan of, uh, of Baggett Bots or tapthetable.io uh, was the inventor or he worked for at one time in his life, he crossed paths of destiny with Steve Carb uh, of all man. people. He's Steve, man. the Throdo man, the man who invented Throdo uh, he used to work directly with them. So there is a serendipitous tie with pizza. Uh, the multi, he's a multi-concept restaurateur in Hilton Head that not mm -hmm. Ryan, but Steve Carb mm -hmm. and Ryan became the first full-time digital marketing, social media director That's for true. Steve. And so now, uh, I would describe him as a pizza master of marketing, mm -hmm. uh, specializing in chat bots social media driven automation, SMS, email marketing with a, uh, with a specific goal of omni-channel marketing yep. management. And so Mr. Ryan Baggett is here. And Mr. Ryan Baggett, I have a question for you. Yep. Pizza consumers, or, or is it true? Pizza consumers are now ordering pizza through Facebook and they're buying a lot of it. That is true. Both, both questions true. First, thanks for having me. It's a, it's an honor, uh, and it's so cool that you know Steve and Tony and the Surge guys, and uh, they all say hello. And uh, I am very glad good. To that. But yes, it is true. You can now, and I don't mean jump someone to a link to go buy it on an app or a website or something silly. You can purchase products like pizza, uh, all your favorite menu items, uh, right in Facebook, and it's in Messenger specifically, which is a a big, a big platform that if you're not marketing there yet, you should be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so that's good. That's true. So uh, you have been executing these programs for a number of pizzeria for a number of pizzerias, especially ever since uh, COVID. Yep. Uh, and so this is fresh information. How how receptive are pizza consumers to ordering pizza on Facebook? Do you have any metrics to uh, uh, to explain or detail uh, the response you're getting? Yeah, so um, the response from the business owner uh, since January, that's when I really started doing this. So really before COVID, but since January, this product has uh, sold itself more or less. Uh, I've been able to, in a concrete way, show a return and show dollars and cents down to the cents what social media is doing for that business. and. And as a marketer for nine years, I know that it's important to show metrics. So I've been in the business of showing this is how many people you've reached or there's how many people clicked on the website, for instance. And it was really tough to determine, well, how much money did Facebook make us this month, Ryan? How much money? And it's a really hard thing to uh, report back on. You know, I can give a really great estimate, but to get that rock solid number, really difficult to tap the table solves that. So uh, if you're looking for the 
uh, business owners reaction to it they love it as soon as they see the product they they love it and on the consumer side the metrics are there for the business owner to see right so mm -hmm. at this point i don't necessarily care so much about the individual metrics anymore the business owners will because that's what this uh, program and platform does and so the business owner will see okay well i had 40 people click on pepperoni pizza today and 17 of them purchased it why didn't the other folks purchase can i get uh, more data out of it have these people purchased before you know you can find all that information out in one dashboard or right in messenger it's really cool stuff okay well now just coincidentally mm -hmm. in our uh recent issue that just came out last month wait a second backwards <laughs> okay in here uh, i would i'm wondering if you recognize uh this person there's the man there's john yeah. okay so i should let people know that uh stoner's <laughs> pizza who we just uh had in our previous issue uh, is one of your customers and now uh i guess did you say anybody in the stoner system has access to this technology or anybody that wants it or yep or, so uh, they, they were the first uh franchise to, to look at what i have and and really see the potential early on in this year and, and mm -hmm. again we also did a deal in january together and really kicked off in february and it's it's been amazing to see the results uh pull in uh, you know you've been doing this longer than i have as far as collecting yeah. data and information and email addresses is a tough thing and then it it takes time to do a lot of and a lot of times uh well fortunately this system has made it very easy for john and other franchise owners their new store launches mm -hmm. it's very easy to then build that list before launch before they open and after so you know for john and stoner's pizza they're so smart in the way that they had me customize this tool for them uh earlier in the year to, to right. really cater it for launches so that when it was a Friday night and a new pizzeria in town uh, maybe wasn't getting the business they needed to get, boom, they had a way to reach out to so many people and say, hey, here's a special. Hey, don't forget about us. We're the new right. pizzeria on the block, and it's worked out really well. I think people's imaginations will go pretty pretty wild like mine did when you simply sent me a link and I, I uh, ordered a pizza on Facebook uh, yeah. very quickly. And it also took me on a careful path uh, a decision tree of answering questions that led me right to the pizza I wanted and it did it quickly. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, you know, I think, I think the speed, is it faster to order uh, through a bot uh, than it is through a human being? So not just any bot um, and, and not just any human or, or any uh, system. I think the tap the table system is the fastest way to order. Mm -hmm. um, we've even integrated voice. So if you want to, on messenger say hey i want a large pepperoni pizza my system will pull that right up and mm -hmm. it will uh, you know take that order completely uh the restaurateur can choose what method of payment they want to use whether they want to allow cash payment or whether they only want credit card payments uh it's this it's super fast and to your point does it is it better than or faster than a human the point i want to make is we're not taking a human away from their job the cool piece here is the human, if they need to take an order of the phone because they have that option, they can do that. And the, the bot itself, the automation can take care of 20 orders in the time they've done one phone call because mm -hmm. there's, you know, there's unlimited conversations being had. Yeah. Well, so on the, exp uh, talk about the expense. How, uh, what, mm -hmm. what are the economics of, of the system? How does that break down? Yeah. So, um, because of the huge success i've luckily been able to have this year through building specific custom automation for restaurants what i've done is i've packaged up the most successful features that i found work packaged them up included a dashboard and now those restaurants can do what ryan was doing themselves when they can do it themselves it's a lot less than if ryan has to do it you know and so, uh, and it's a super easy process as I showed you before we, we get on the air. Um, what the price model we're looking at right now is $1.99 per month, which uh, I think for one, it does is almost too cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, and especially it's not like uh, you're paying a person or 
another company a, a, a flat fee a month and not knowing what you're getting out of it here it's mm -hmm. okay okay well if i have to pay 199 a month i know what i want in my return and right depending on what their online ecosystem looks like already if they don't have online ordering and they want to go big on facebook this tool takes them from zero to as high as they want to go and i've had clients that have you know hit the 15 twenty thousand dollar revenue a month mark i've had clients that will average around that two to five thousand uh, dollar monthly income uh, you know a month but if yeah. they haven't had it before it's brand new revenue and it's really exciting to actually for once see the facebook page generate income mm -hmm. yeah yeah, we've been writing for a long time, uh, for years, you know, different mm -hmm. strategies for building your Facebook up. So that's that's going to come in real handy once you turn that into a, uh, an economic uh, force. Uh, that'll be even more important to, to, to get your Facebook. A thousand percent. Uh, yeah. Is there any kind of a, a special offer for PMQ people, uh, say, that are listening now that, that you could extend for a, uh, yeah. you know, for a limited number of, uh, you know, people to help get this cranked up uh, more uh, within our audience. Yeah, totally. Well, first, I am so happy to announce. I don't know if it was mentioned. Uh, this is the 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 time of the release. We are releasing Tap the Table right now on the show for the first time ever to the public. We've been hammering the code out in this thing nonstop. Um, the functionality is uh, as perfect as it can be for a launch and it's ready to go. It's ready to roll. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about your menu on PMQ in a second. Um, but what we've done is we've decided that a, we're going to let all PMQ users use this thing absolutely free for 30 days. Um, cool. Cool. Absolutely $0 spent yeah. there. Um, and I really believe when it comes to marketing, digital marketing specifically, the days of collecting a check as a marketer without proving results are over. Mm -hmm. they, they don't care about how many likes they got. They don't care about all the people reached. They want results. This platform gives you the results. This platform would scare me so much if I wasn't the one using it, you know, because to compete mm -hmm. against this, uh, dashboard itself is going to be tough. <clears throat> yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, uh, it, this is an amazing time. There's so much going yeah. on in in technology and marketing right now. It's it's uh you know we we have uh, so many tools that are being used right now. Uh, a variety of colors and palettes and tools, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is. This is another one of those, uh, you know, I think it's, you know, people have been looking for it. I know Domino's kind of implies that they that they take orders on Facebook, but it's not it's really more of a link or a widget that takes you back into their system. Uh, yeah, you know, I would I think, encourage, I'm not even sure how that I would going. encourage uh, anyone yeah. familiar out there listening that is familiar with Domino's Facebook functionality which is far less than what PMQ Magazine has on their mm -hmm. Facebook page to go test them out hand in hand and see which one you like better. I think it's a slam dunk. Mm -hmm. And I see that uh, Jason, he just asked in the comment section that there, is there a free trial uh, run for this program? And yeah, Jason, like I said, if you're a PMQ subscriber, you're gonna, you're gonna get the experience at the table absolutely free uh, for at least 30 days and uh, decide if you like it or not. And um, I think that you, you really will. Cool. Uh, how does this, how do you, in you, what about credit card processing? That, credit that's card, gotta be yeah. important. Cause it, cause it's, I know it's a seamless thing. It just, before you know it, you've got your pizza. A so uh, how does, right. how do how do you handle that? So we have our own credit card processing partners that make the integration process super easy. Um, and those guys have the keys to, uh, POS system. So if a restaurateur is looking to connect, you know, tap the table to their POS, that sure is possible. We have the development resources to make that happen on our end. It's just a matter of being uh, open. Um, but this is, you know, again, uh, processing is something that you have to have as an online ordering platform. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be stuck with 
something like a Stripe or a PayPal and you don't really have as a restaurant owner control over anything there except what they tell you you have control over. So with our partners, there's a lot more flexibility involved and there's going to be a lot of opportunity for these locations that may have, and I know this specifics in the specifically in the pizza world, they might not have the most expensive POS systems or very best credit card processing systems mm -hmm. in place to have the table because we are, you know, such a technology driven company. We have the resources of partners that can potentially help that restaurant uh, even outside of just what we offer, which is the online piece. You know, um, I think our partners are the best. Uh, and I think that as we grow, there'll be more partners that want to jump on board quickly because I think it's going to spread very, very fast. Um, you, 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 um, you deal with all parts of the digital equation. Mm -hmm. You deal with SMS, you deal with uh, online ordering with the credit cards. Uh, yep. uh, and, you, and you talk about omni uh, marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, does that mean that you, at some point bring together uh, the history of individual customers and have multiple ways to reach them? Yeah, so the idea here is to really take advantage of the message marketing, which mm. again, it's it's a trail, it's a, it's a conversation and, and my philosophy is, you know, conversation equals conversion. So I wanna continue a conversation with my customer as fast as I can and continue it as long as I can, right? So um if someone here is going to visit a place and for instance they use tab the table to show that guest the contactless menu um it's easy for me to provide the restaurant the tool that's already built in that says okay this person's tapped the table for the contactless menu or they scanned the qr code to view the menu we want to know has this person been here before okay my technology will let us know that uh, and if they have been here before, then they could maybe get a loyalty point, for example. Um, I can get their phone number. So if I have their phone number and I collect their email, maybe they're part of my loyalty club. Every visit could be a point, something like that. But the idea is I can have a conversation directly with anyone I need to on Facebook, text message, or email. Okay. So, um one of the one of the weapons or one of the opportunities is the free pizza reward oh yeah uh, can you tell me a little bit about the science of giving away free pizza well the idea is it takes a lot for people to do things nowadays i'm under the impression that in general people like to be lazy when they can um so mm -hmm. lazy lazy people that are you know scrolling across the internet they're gonna have to have something big enough to stop them from scrolling. And I have found, um, and this goes back to some of the geniuses over at Stoner's Pizza Joint franchise. Um, they said, you know what, why don't we offer them a free pizza and do one better? Let's offer it to someone, free pizza for a year. How about that? That'll get them to stop. Mm -hmm. And so the idea was um, each month starting in January, or maybe we concepted the whole idea in January and started in February, I don't really remember. But uh, we pushed out these Facebook posts on uh, Facebook and Instagram and some other places that said, hey, um, enter your chance to win free pizza for a year. And what that what that was specifically was come get your small cheese pizza and we're going to bet that you're also going to purchase other things. We took it a step further and we offered um, on certain holidays or certain special days during the year free pizza for everyone or for all the VIPs, the stoner VIPs. So the idea was they interacted with our Facebook page to get the free pizza. They opted into our marketing, which included uh, Facebook chat marketing, SMS marketing, and email marketing. So we're, we're getting all three channels in about three seconds. In another three seconds, they've opted in and gotten a free pizza. So the last all step right. of the puzzle there was to redeem that pizza because I wanted to see if I've got six or seven of these restaurants all running this deal. You know, I'm not going to call their managers every day and see where we're at. I want to see in real time how are the redemptions looking, and then so. Mm -hmm. The last step of that puzzle is you've tapped your phone number in, you've tapped your email address in, you just confirmed that Facebook normally will just pop it right up there when I ask the question as a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then boom, it's like, okay, Ryan, here's your pizza. When you get to the location, have the manager tap here, right? And so once that happens, now I've collected that um, 
that claim of the redemption for the prize. So I can yeah. see, you know, they're looking at all the different food items and the uh, appetizers. Then they get their free pizza. And then a day later, they go in and they have the manager hit the button. And I see that happen. It's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that, that my, my mind, you, I was thinking about uh, the, uh, the dodgeball game. Oh, the dodgeball, that, you know, yeah. Right, the dodgeball game. There's a lot of different contests that you yeah. can do uh, with bots. Mm -hmm. And I guess you kind of got started. Did you start off with bots and then you realized, hey, there's a way to order a pizza through here? Or were you thinking that the whole time that you were uh, developing the bots? Well, the first automation chatbot that I put in for a client was actually for a, a private island out here in South Carolina. And it was back in November. And I was just discovering all of the possibilities that are out there of the ways that I could use this thing to benefit the client because that's my job as a marketer do things that people see that benefit the client aka make the money right and uh -huh. so I realized okay okay I can sell ferry tickets and excursions and such I could sell a t-shirt through this thing too and I was able to do that and then it, I took it a step further I was like we do have a pretty successful restaurant that's just crushing and I wonder how well I could put their menu onto their Facebook Messenger and have it to where they could buy it. And there's a lot of problems when it comes to food versus other products. When you're buying a shirt, it doesn't really matter during the day when that employee or the manager, you know, looking at the orders, puts the order through. When it's food, it's very important to be fast. It's very important to be as independent as possible, not worry about another third party or functionality that would order comes in, gets to the kitchen. There should be nothing in between. And mm -hmm. so that you know that solving that problem was the biggest issue yeah that i had to overcome which has taken me this long to develop something but we mm -hmm. finally got a good solution yeah my hope is that uh for those people there there's a big percentage of them uh maybe 30 percent of our readers that mm -hmm. that don't have online ordering of any kind and for those people those are the first people that could benefit from just uh, straight up getting orders through Facebook and oh, yeah. you know that's the biggest biggest group of digital biggest digital audience that buys pizza mm -hmm. and so um, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some people start just uh, for the first time getting online ordering I, we've had so many converts uh, during COVID but there's mm -hmm. still thousands of pizza operators that need online ordering and uh how long does it take uh how how long does it take for people to actually get their first orders if they say ryan help me out so that's a great question i'm glad you asked that one and for any restaurant managers or owners out there listening to this i am a restaurant guy like i i speak the language i've worked in restaurants i i understand the problems that these guys face and things need to be fast. They need to be easy. It, it needs just to be done, right? And so uh, from the time you go to my website, tapthetable.io and tap get started free, you could literally be selling a product in 60 seconds or less. That's that's my goal. And I think that's very doable. Um, I've got a lot of solutions built in. I think it's intuitive enough. And I'll show you on the screen here in a little bit if you'd like about you know how how easy it really is. Because again, it's gotta be fast, gotta be easy. More so than even marketing or uh, technology, I think Tap the Table is in the speed business. We're going as fast mm -hmm. as we possibly can to ensure that you know there's nothing that slows down the client or the customer of the client. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's incredible uh, yeah. vo voice. And then you got voice too. how uh, it must be. The, the voice can't work all the time, right? It's, it's not perfected yet. Does it do you, if you're an English teacher, you could probably successfully order a pizza. But if you're a uh, English and your is a second language, can they actually order a pizza? How, wh where is where, where are we on on the uh, specificity yes, of that? the voice functionality works as well as uh, your phone can understand what you're saying. So right. for example, if I'm in messenger and I want to order my favorite pepperoni pizza, right? If I uh, simply, I've had my cursor where I would type, I've got the microphone icon on the screen, tap. I want to order a large pepperoni. It will find a large pepperoni 
right there. Or I could say something like, I want to reorder my last order, right? And so one button, you just click one thing and you're mm -hmm. there. The last order that was received or placed from, from, from that customer appears right on the screen instantly. It's so fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the big, the big thing that we've, how, how can we get people to interact and uh, try this thing out for themselves? You know what I have done, let's see on your Facebook page, which you guys have made me an admin of because I actually have, and I, and I have full permission from John. Thank you, John from Stoner's Pizza to mm -hmm. upload the Stoner's Pizza joint menu, which is an awesome menu, by the way. They're actually being mirrored on your PMQ account. So right now, what I want to do is let's find, I'm going to find a photo uh, of a pizza and I'm going to allow someone to go ahead and, and order the pizza from PMQ. I think it'd be really fun uh, that they just comment on the post that says, hey, I'm ready to order or we'll provide a link so they can order that, that pizza. I think that'd be fun. I'm going to find a picture really quick pizza and we'll make a post and then what we'll do is we'll allow people to order how's that sound mm -hmm. well, that looks great that looks good okay we'll use this one pizza so i'm going to go should i share my screen or not what do you think yeah yeah i'm going to share my screen yeah. so you guys can see right what i'm doing here so share screen Boom. All right, so I should switch over here in a second. Cool. So this is Tap the Table. Voila. Uh, there, the, I see that someone asked if they're a mobile app or a website. This is actually, it works really well on your mobile phone. There's no need for um, a mobile app. Um, but for the ordering piece, I can totally uh show you guys how to make it a, an instant app on your phone which is really nice all right so what we're going to do here is we are going to go and make sure i've got my marketing tool on uh this is the dashboard you get to at the table you've got three big functions right here we've got uh, a comment tool here i have a qr code generator and i have an nfc link which is so fun. The NFC says something that I think you guys will be really interested in. We could talk about that. Uh, but what I want to do is make a Facebook post. So I'm going to find that photo that I just saved. Where'd we save it? Pizza. Oh, let's see. Where'd we go? We don't want a picture of Ryan there. We want pizza and date added, which right here. Boom. Okay. Hey, PMQ. And try our new online ordering menu here. All right. So what we're going to be able to do actually is here, boom, there's my link. Or, or just comment below with, and we'll say menu, the comment menu, we're going to automatically send it to them. So, hey, PMQ fans, try our new online ordering menu here. Click the link or just comment below. So what we're going to do, we're going to post mm -hmm. it. And now anyone that wants to tap into that link or leave a comment, <laughs> they will have access to the menu and they can place an order uh guys just use cash don't use your credit card they're not really gonna make your pizza but it's live so it should be good to go mm -hmm. well that's that's pretty amazing yeah that's uh that's that's really something so now people are free to uh, uh to order a pizza and see what it experiences uh exactly i think do you have anything in particular that you want to add uh, to this conversation, because I think we're going to lose our audience uh, once they realize, once they want to start playing around with this thing. I think that they should play around with it. And yeah. you know, right now, what I would say is, you know, during this time, be nimble, take advantage of the internet. Social mm -hmm. media is your friend, and I think this has got the opportunity to really supercharge some restaurants' Facebook pages out there. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, Ingrid, our control. 
uh, our control manager is uh, signaling to us. Uh, does that wrap us up, Ingrid? Got it. Okay. Well, that was nice. We got a lot of information in just one half hour, the, the length of our show. So uh, that was pretty good. Well, uh, thank you very it. much for uh, being part of my first show. Well, I sure do appreciate it. Yeah, and, uh, this is a. I'm just really it. impressed, and I and I wish you a lot of luck. Uh, our industry needs a lot of uh, a lot of people to help. We we've got so much opportunity right now. It's it's uh, great to have you on board. Glad we discovered you, and that you discovered pizza. Awesome, man! Thanks so much, Steve. You guys have a great day. Okay, you too. Bye bye.